what you guys got another video on how to upgrade hard drives or SSD without losing your data. Now, if you've got a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC, the best thing to do if you're in this situation where you want to upgrade your hard drive or your SSD to a larger size, then what I would suggest you do is possibly do this when you have a clean install. Remove all the old applications that you don't need or the stuff like bloat that you don't want on the system. You can do this via scripts or via manual uninstall like I'm showing you right here. Run whatever applications you want or scripts, maybe Chris Tires Text Tool or whatever it is you want to run on your system if that's what you're into. Then what you can do is get all your settings exactly how you like them and you can do this manually or with a script. And then what you'd need to do is get your brand new drive like you've got right here. We're going to get our brand new drive and put it into an enclosure like this one right here. And what this is going to do is allow us to put exactly the same operating system we're running on our PC onto this so we don't lose any of our settings or data or any of that stuff. So you've got a cable here, Type-C connector, going to a Type-A USB connection or you can use a Type-C to Type-C, depending on whether your computer supports a Type-C connection. So either way, you can use either of these cables. I'll use this one right here for this video, but you can use whatever one you want to use. So you can see this one is a Type-C to Type-C, and it even has a little handy adapter on here to turn it into a USB Type-A uh, connection. So it's a pretty good cable to have, and some enclosures even offer cables like this. So this is a Sabran particular type of enclosure. Very simple, toolless design. You just press this button and open it up like so. And all you need to do here is insert the drive into here. Now this is going to be a temporary method. Now you can plug it into the computer itself if you have a spare slot on the motherboard, but this is probably the best and easiest way to do it. So what we're going to do here is make sure we've got this little catch and then we're going to slot it in and lock it into position. It's a bit fiddly, so I'm doing this with one hand. So let me go ahead and click that round. And it does have a little thermal pad on here already. And then we can close this up, put our cable in, and we're pretty much good to go from here. So let me go ahead and plug the cable into the end. And we're going to plug this into our computer. And we're going to need a piece of software to do this as well. And I'll show you the type of software we're going to be using for this particular job. So now we're all prepped and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my computer so we're ready to clone our drive over. So here we go. I've just emptied the recycle bin here and got it exactly how I want it. I've got all the programs in that I want. And now we've got our drive plugged in. You can see it's visible on here. I've named it clone so I know exactly uh, what drive it is. And all we need to do is head over to ESUS website and we're going to use the ESUS uh, disk copy software. Now, this is a paid piece of software that has plenty of good features for cloning your drive over to a new drive. Now, you may be asking why paid software instead of free software. Well, a lot of the free ones don't offer cloning to an external enclosure, whereas a uh, disk copy does, but you have to pay for it. And it's not a lot of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this trial version and pay for it and be able to clone our drive over. So let me go ahead and we're going to hit the free trial right here. And this will download the software, as you can see on the screen. And once this is downloaded, we're going to double click on it and install the executable file right here. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Say yes to the user account control. And this will open up the uh, installation wizard for ESUS disk copy. So let's go ahead and let that populate. And once this is populated, we can then go through the setup for our clone. So you can see right here, choose a plan that is right for you. So we've got one month, one year or lifetime, depending on how many times you plan on using this. You can use this uh, for one month and just do what you need to do. And that's it. If you want it for one year and you're going to do it multiple times, you can use the one year method or the lifetime if you plan on using this all the time. So I've already purchased it and I've got the key and I'm going to go ahead and install that. Straight away, it's detected on this computer that we found a new hard drive. Do you want to migrate your OS to this new drive? 
So you can either say yes here, and this will go ahead and do system mode, which is basically going to clone our uh, drive over. It detects your new drive and prompts you, do you want to use this option to migrate the operating system to the new drive? This prompt appears whenever you plug in a new drive into the computer and it detects it. You can see right here, it's detected the information on the new drive. I've already used this drive before, but it will detect it as a new drive. And you can see auto fit the disk. We have copy as source and we've got edit layout. So you can choose which one suits you. And uh, again, depending on what your needs are, you can choose it right here. So edit the disk layout. This is obviously going to allow you to move the slider up and things like that. I'm just going to use the auto fit feature on this occasion and we're going to use the auto fit to disk. So next we're going to go to proceed and this will then proceed because we need to choose our source and then our target of information. So you can see the data on the target will be erased. Please ensure that you have selected the correct target disk and then click continue to start the copying process. So all of the data on our new drive is going to be erased. So if you've got a drive that you've used before, like I had here, it's going to erase all that data and basically clone over the drive that we've got, which we've just prepped and ready for cloning. So I'll speed this process up and you can see it's starting to give us the information on the screen. Your clone of the system disk to a USB drive. Do you want to boot to this system from the USB drive? I'm not going to do that because I'm going to say no here because I would at this stage say no, and I would remove the drive from its enclosure and replace the drive in the computer. I'm not going to show you that part because it's self-explanatory. You would just go where the NVMe drive is and you would just swap it over. It's that simple. So we'll let this finish off and it's just estimating the time remaining. And there's like 21 seconds here. So it's just finishing off the finalization of the clone. And once this is done, we should get the all finished to close the application down. You should see something like this coming up on the screen. And now it's gonna say click finish, and we're now done. So let's go through some of these other options right here so you can see. So we do have an exact identical clone of our drive. So disk mode, this basically is a process that duplicates the content from one disk to another, uh, resulting in both disks containing identical data. Then you have the system mode, which is what we've just done, which is a one-click operating system migrating tool. Partition clone is a feature that duplicates the source partition onto the destination partition or un unallocated uh, space, ensuring that the data on both and the source and destination become identical. So that is the partition mode right here, you can see. And we also have create bootable disk. Now this bootable disk can be either created on a USB or CD, DVD, or even create an ISO file. And you can even add in any sort of drivers that you need on this particular WinPE as well. So what is a WinPE? Well, it's a bootable disk that can be used to boot into a pre-installed environment, which is then going to allow you to either clone a disk or partition. So pre-installed environments are pretty useful. Now we have batch mode here. I think this is basically based for uh, servers or higher versions and aims to create a clone image and deploy the image to multiple PCs via Pixie service. I think this is what this uh, area is. So we also have on this option, disk mode, we have sector by sector. And again, this is going to be copying every sector of that drive. And this can take quite a long time to do. So I generally wouldn't check mark the sector by sector uh, copy or clone. So you've also got some other options up there like your language and things like that for that particular software. Let me just quickly show you disk management right here so you can see the drives are identical and we can now take this out of the enclosure and put this into the computer and boot to it. Now don't worry if it says drive A, this will be changed uh, to the C drive once we put it into the drive, it is bootable. And you can now boot to that brand new drive and you've upgraded your drive without losing any data or having to install any programs. Now, if you're on a Windows 10 machine and Windows 10 is reaching end of life, I would do a nice clean install of Windows 10 and basically get it exactly how you like it and make a clone of that drive. And you can use that to reinstall Windows whenever you feel like it using that clone 
or you can download an ISO and keep that safe. Anyway, but that said, I think that's about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.